Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Buffalo 66 and I have a new video in my Buffalo's betting video series. Uh, today we're going to talk about model building for Major League Baseball. Uh, I only have five minutes to do this video and uh, I'm going to try to get as much in as I can. You can find information on my Twitter page, Buffalo Hold'em, and we also post these videos on Ocelot Sports and I have my own playlist on YouTube. Well, many of you watch my handicapping videos. You know I come up with a swing chart every day and this is a uh, basically a spreadsheet of uh, four different models uh, predict the outcome of games and uh, people ask how do you come up with your numbers and what does it all mean and you can see I have four models A, B, C, and D and on this side I predict uh, the spread and on this side I predict the total and I compare the lines and make make wagers based on uh, the information that's there so uh, as we get into major league model building uh, if you have not uh, seen my previous video number three where I discuss wh why you need a model you should go back and watch that first uh, a as we build a model uh, it should be equal parts simplicity and accuracy and what that means is uh, we're not trying to predict as closely as possible in a perfect world it would be a hundred percent accurate but uh, we can't spend eight hours a day coming up with spreadsheets so we need a model that's equal parts of simplicity and gives us a ballpark accuracy that that works for us to build your model you'll need two sets of data points You'll need a spread, uh, that's the margin of victory. Team A defeats Team B by X amount of runs. And you'll need a total, which is Team A runs scored plus Team B runs scored equals total runs scored. So if you have those figures, then you have a data point. And if you have enough data points, then you can make your spreadsheet, which will help you predict outcomes and make wagers. So uh, where do I get my data points for the model? Well, you have two options basically you can create your own formulas from stats that are out there and uh, you can also use somebody else's projections that already has data points made for you so let's look at both examples of that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, with creating your own formula and I have uh, the covers uh, matchup page from tonight's uh, Yankees Red Sox game bear with me just a second here and we have data that's uh, readily available for us. Uh, we have the two starting pitchers. Uh, we have stat, stat analysis. Now you can go very simple. Say, you know, the Red Sox averaged 3.67 runs for and 4.17 runs against. And take that difference. Yankees, take that difference. Figure out which team's going to come out ahead. And then you can add the total runs to come with your over-under. You can get more complicated. You can do a lefty-righty split and, and get that data. You can do a home-away split. Home-away, you can see the Red Sox average 6.67 runs, the Yankees 9.33 runs. You can do it by, you know, they're, they're trending their last five or ten games. You can do it by the starting pitchers, uh, their run support. You know, this pitcher gets 5.5 runs in a game but gives up 6.5 runs a game. So you can use these matchups and these this data. Uh, you can just you know go by the hitting down here. You can say their offense is average versus righties and lefties, uh, and come up with a spread and a total. And you can do you know by the month, or or you can use historical from previous years, or you can only use this use only this year's data. It doesn't matter, but uh, it's all available there for you. Now I have a spreadsheet from a gentleman that gives out free projections every day. I don't really recommend him. I don't use it, but it, it, it's ready-made, and you can see right here the Cincinnati-Tampa Bay game. He has a, a differential of .26 runs and a total of 4.63 runs, and you can use somebody else's projections to come up with, with what you need. So getting back to our uh, topic here, how many data points do you need, and should they be weighted equally? Well, I use four. I use two of my own and two that I get from other people, and I weight them all equally, but that doesn't mean you have to do that. You can use three maybe wait one half and the other two 25 percent it's it's up to you to decide how you want to do this uh, but if you can come up with three or four good sources I think and you feel that they're reasonably accurate they're not just being pulled out of thin air then you can have your spreadsheet just like I have mine and you can make your own and and have your own level of confidence in your picks and then once you have those data points to make a spreadsheet and have a reasonable prediction of an outcome you can come up with, uh, you can find your value bets and make your money. So that's all the time we have for today, and uh, we'll get back to it next week with another video. Thanks for watching.